Discover the treasure that's in your own backyard at Crystal Springs Resort. It's the perfect way to escape your daily routine with luxury spas, award-winning golf, fabulous dining, mineral sports club, and so much more. Even treat yourself to an overnight stay for that special occasion. Great recreation and world-class amenities, it's all right here in beautiful Sussex County at Crystal Springs Resort. Hi, I'm Shannon Sweeney. I've been a player or coach for most of my life, and I understand the need to keep our kids motivated and safe. As a parent and coach, I also understand the need to make sure our children are protected. That's why insurance is as an important part of the game as a good coach is. I've known my fellow coach, Wayne Dietz, for 10 years. I've seen him motivate and inspire players both on and off the floor. I've also seen him make sure that our children are safe by making sure that the teams are properly insured. As a coach, we don't often think about insurance, and when you work with Wayne and his team at DNH Risk Solutions, you won't have to. They take care of everything with honesty and integrity so that you can focus on what you do best, coaching your team to victory. Vernon Vibes is brought to you in part by Vira, the Vernon Independent Retailers Association. Please shop locally and support these businesses. Brookside Florist, Copy Center of Vernon, Dollar Plus, h, h Auto Parts, Healthy Times Market, Lakeland Pool and Spas, McAfee Hardware, McAfee Ski and Snowboard, Outcast Sports, Valley Paint and Hardware, Vernon Dairy Queen and Batting Cages. Please remember to shop locally. Vernon Vibes is brought to you in part by United Water, the official water company of Vernon Township. United Water, involved in the communities they serve. Good evening and welcome to Vernon Vibes. I'm kind of excited about this particular edition today because frankly it's the first year anniversary of Vernon Vibes. It was about this time last year that we launched this method of communicating with you and uh, I hope it's been as uh, rewarding for you as it has for me. I know as I've moved around the township and I talk to people and they approach me, I can tell by the conversation and the questions that they ask me that you're watching and you're paying attention. So I want to thank you for that. I want to thank you for your loyalty over the last year and giving me the opportunity to come into your home and talk to you about what's happening here in Vernon Township and in the Vernon Township government. And as I like to do, I'd like to start with the calendar of, of events. And the first event that I would like to stress is that this Sunday, June 9th, is Vernon Day. And that's a big day in Vernon. Uh, for those of you who are not aware, it starts at uh, 9 o'clock in the morning with a 5K run and a one-mile walk for uh, uh, anyone who's interested in participating. And it's a fundraiser uh, that will be used for recreational purposes um, uh, this year. Uh, last year, we had well over 200 participants in that um, event and we anticipate this year that we will have at least that many if not more. The uh, run-up to the 5k uh, race is a program that was founded and started by Melissa Weedbrock, our Director of Recreation and Community Development called Couch to 5k. And just to give you an idea as to how successful that program has been, last year there were about 50 participants who started into the program and by the day of the 5k race there were still 40 who are actively running and getting into shape. This year, that number has doubled. Over 80 people have joined the Couch to 5K movement, and it's, a, uh, I believe, an indicator of uh, our community's interest in well-being and in physical fitness, and I know the race is going to be a lot of fun. So I invite you all to come out 9 o'clock in the morning on June 9th to cheer on the runners, and then at noon, Vernon Day shall start. Vernon Day will run from noon until 4 p.m. at the Maple Grange Park. And I know that all of you who live in Vernon know where that is. It's become a mainstay and a center of our social life as well as our physical activity life in Vernon. And how fortunate we are to have a facility of that quality and that caliber available to us. I know from, again, speaking with people in town that all ages are using the park now for walking, hiking, exercising as well as competitive activity. So I want to invite you on June 4th, excuse me, June 9th at 12 noon 
to Maple Grange Park to take part in Vernon Day, one of the biggest events of the year. I know if you come out, you're gonna have a great time. There'll be food, there'll be vendors, there'll be exhibits. Um, there's a karate competition. There are all kinds of activities that have been planned. And it's a fun day just to spend with your neighbors and your family in an atmosphere of community spirit. So come on out. I'll look forward to seeing you there on the 9th. The second announcement I would like to make also I find very exciting. On June 26th at 7 p.m., the Vernon Township Land Use Board will entertain the application for Vernon Township's first affordable senior housing. I am in receipt of the plans for this project, as are all the other members of the Land Use Board, and I can assure you that this project will be a welcomed and beautiful addition to our town center. The estimated cost of this project is somewhere in the area of $7 million. There are 37 units that are proposed, and I would like to invite all who are interested, and specifically our senior citizens, to come out June 26th, 7 p.m., here in the municipal building for the Land Use Board hearing concerning the Vernon Affordable Senior Housing. It's an exciting time. It's been just about a year since the decision to move forward with this project was made. Your township government, this mayor's office, and the principals of the Theta 456 Corporation have worked diligently to come to this point. There are still uh, permits from the state and hurdles to be overcome, but they will be overcome. This project is being um, developed and constructed by a professional organization of successful business people, all three of whom are Vernon natives. And so I'm excited about it. I know you've heard me talk about it in the past and I've had many, many people ask me as I've traveled to var various civic groups, Mayor, is this really gonna happen? Uh, when is it gonna happen? The date is here, June 26th. Come on out to the Land Use Board meeting and hear about the project have your questions answered, and be informed as to what is happening in your town center. I'll be back in just a minute. Discover the treasure that's in your own backyard at Crystal Springs Resort. It's the perfect way to escape your daily routine with luxury spas, award-winning golf, fabulous dining, mineral sports club, and so much more. Even treat yourself to an overnight stay for that special occasion. Great recreation and world-class amenities. It's all right here in beautiful Sussex County at Crystal Springs Resort. Vernon Vibes is brought to you in part by Vira, the Vernon Independent Retailers Association. Please shop locally and support these businesses. Brookside Florist, Copy Center of Vernon, Dollar Plus, h, h Auto Parts, Healthy Times Market, Lakeland Pool and Spas, McAfee Hardware, McAfee Ski and Snowboard, Outcast Sports, Valley Paint and Hardware, Vernon Dairy Queen and Batting Cages. Please remember to shop locally. Vernon Vibes is brought to you in part by United Water, the official water company of Vernon Township. United Water, involved in the communities they serve. Welcome back. I just want to take a second to uh, share with you why there has been a, a bit of a change in the, in the uh, scheduling of this program. As you know, um, I, I always record the program the morning after a town council meeting. Uh, because of the Memorial Day holiday in May, um, the last Monday in May, the town council meeting actually was moved till May 30th, which was last Thursday evening. As a result, it caused a little bit of a hiatus but I can assure you that uh, the information that I've brought you uh, is the activity that took place at our council meeting on May 30th. And I'd like to start by pointing out to you that the Vernon Town Council and this mayor um, decided to make a presentation to Mr. Tom Hayes. Uh, that may not be a name that you recognize, but Tom Hayes was recognized by our government as a Vernon hero. He is the gentleman who was first on the scene for that horrific accident that occurred on the mountain uh, side over at Mountain Creek with the um, all-wheel drive vehicle that rolled down the hill. Tom 
without regard to his own safety or his own well-being, in fact, um, was the first on the scene, was able to, in fact, help the uh, wife and the child that were involved in that accident, and, in fact, in that faced a bear. Um, so we were very, very proud and pleased to recognize Tom Hayes, who was a very, very humble and self-effacing man and someone that uh, we would like to adopt as an honorary Vernonite. So, Tom, thanks for what you did. And uh, this is not meant to embarrass you, but to let you know that you're the first responders in Vernon, our police, our ambulance, our fire, and the governing body of Vernon, and the people who were involved in that horrific accident, appreciate who you are and what you did. And so on behalf of the people in Vernon, I'd like to thank you. In addition, at our meeting on Thursday night, a very fine young man, a senior at Vernon High School by the name of Maxwell Schreiner, was recognized as a semi-finalist in a statewide competition, an essay competition sponsored by the New Jersey League of Municipalities in which literally dozens of individuals from all over the state of New Jersey submitted an essay about the office of mayor in their hometown. Max Schreiner um, was a semifinalist in the Lewis Bay Scholarship Competition and in fact his, his uh, essay, which I've had the opportunity to read, was extremely well done. Congratulations, Max. The competition was tough, and you deserve to be proud of your accomplishment. I wish you good luck as you move on to your higher education after graduation, and I thank you for uh, the job that you did in representing Vernon Township. In addition, there were some other um, um, topics that were taken under consideration by the town council. And uh, in two instances, businesses in town um, who were in need of some relief in order to be able to go forward with um, events that they were planning, that being the Hidden Valley Ski Area and the Ricky Farm, were in fact granted waivers by the town council so that the Rocks, Ribs, and Ridges concert scheduled for June 8th and 9th would in fact go forward. Those of you who have been in this town for a while and enjoy country and western music know that that festival is a huge success and I would invite all of you to take the opportunity to go on out and hear the Charlie Daniels Band and several other very, very well-known performers as they rock the mountains with ribs and, uh, and good music and a great time. And uh, in addition to that, there are several festi uh, festivities that will be held on the Ricky Farm throughout the summer, which will be designed to, in fact, attract and to uh, husband uh, individuals um, in the world of music, in the world of camping, and other activities designed to, in fact, draw tourists and additional business to Vernon Township. So uh, I was pleased that the council unanimously decided that this was something that needed to be done, and I wish both of those organizations success in their endeavors. In addition to that action, the final 2012 audit, annual audit of Vernon Township's finances were presented by the Nisavachia Company. Our auditor, Mr. Bud Jones, was on hand to, in fact, tell the council that the 2012 audit was the cleanest audit that Vernon Township has experienced in well over 15 years. Those of you who are familiar with the auditing process, at the end of it, there are always recommendations that are made by the auditing firm as to areas that are in need of improvement. In 2009, Vernon Township had 12 recommendations from the auditors of things that needed to be changed. In 2010, that number was reduced to eight. In 2011, that number became four. And in 2012, there were two recommendations, one of which has already been corrected. That's a compliment to our financial department, to Chief Financial Officer Bill Zuckerman and the people who work for him, Elka Yetter and Valerie Palumbo, um, as well as the other department heads in Vernon Township. To have an audit with two recommendations for change is almost unheard of in public government in the state of New Jersey. 
So I'm very, very proud of their job. I thank the Nisavachia company for their efficient auditing and for doing it in a way that didn't interfere with carrying on the business of the township. But at the same time, I can assure you, they were very, very thorough. So we are proud of the result, and we thank all that were involved in achieving it. Additionally, the council approved on a unanimous vote to make application for the 2013 federal cops hiring program. And you will be hearing more about this, but to cut to the quick, it's a $125,000 grant spread over three years to help offset the cost of adding an additional patrolman to the Vernon Police Department. And I can tell you this, if we succeed in this application and, and in fact are fortunate enough to receive the grant, we will add another patrolman to the Vernon Township Police Department. And we will do it in a way that will in fact not impact your property tax. So we're very excited about it. The application has been submitted since the meeting on Thursday night. As a matter of fact, I know that it was transmitted yesterday. And uh, so we will anxiously await the result of that. And as we get more information, I'll be talking more to you about it. The last announcement I'd like to make to you is that the reforestation grant that I've spoken to you about in the past has in fact been a successful application. Vernon Township has been awarded in excess of $30,000 for the purpose of reforestering property owned by the town, the county, and or the state to make up for some of the trees that were lost in the construction of the Tennessee pipeline. I have some more news for you in just a second when we get back. Discover the treasure that's in your own backyard at Crystal Springs Resort. It's the perfect way to escape your daily routine with luxury spas, award-winning golf, fabulous dining, mineral sports club, and so much more. Even treat yourself to an overnight stay for that special occasion. Great recreation and world-class amenities, it's all right here in beautiful Sussex County at Crystal Springs Resort. Vernon Vibes is brought to you in part by Vira, the Vernon Independent Retailers Association. Please shop locally and support these businesses. Brookside Florist, Copy Center of Vernon, Dollar Plus, h, h Auto Parts, Healthy Times Market, Lakeland Pool and Spas, McAfee Hardware, McAfee Ski and Snowboard, Outcast Sports, Valley Paint and Hardware, Vernon Dairy Queen and Batting Cages. Please remember to shop locally. Vernon Vibes is brought to you in part by United Water, the official water company of Vernon Township. United Water, involved in the communities they serve. In the last segment, I was uh, alluding to uh, two of the grants, one of which we've applied for, one of which we've been awarded. And there's another program that I'd like to speak to you about. Since 1986, the state of New Jersey, in fact, has had a statute called the Clean Communities Act. That statute, when it was originally adopted, was a, created uh, as a statewide litter abatement program. And it was fun, funded by a tax levied on the manufacturers and the wholesalers and the retailers of litter generating products. A portion of the funds generated are then distributed to the uh, 559 municipalities and all 21 counties that make up the state of New Jersey. And the disbursement of those grants is overseen by the New Jersey Clean Communities Council in partnership with the New Jersey DEP. I am proud to tell you that for 2013, Vernon Township has been awarded $49,000 for the Clean Communities Program. Um, the fact that we got the, the um, grant is, is not earth-shaking news. But I'd like to take the opportunity to point out that if you belong to a nonprofit or an organization of, vo of volunteers or a civic group, and you're interested in keeping Vernon clean and green, then I would suggest to you that you take advantage of the fact that we in Vernon use the grant for litter cleanup on our township streets, our waterways, our parks and recreation sites, and 
Participation in the program not only helps keep Vernon clean and green, but it promotes long-term sustainability of our natural resources. So, if in fact you are a civic group or any of the groups that I mentioned and you'd be interested in taking part, I would recommend that you could go to the Vernon website where there is a tab for the Clean Communities Program, or you can contact the Vernon Township Department of Public Works at 973-764-3021 for more information. Um, as you, I'm sure you know, I do in fact sign the checks here at the Town Hall, and uh, it always brings a smile to my face when I sign a check that I know is going to uh, a civic group or a nonprofit who has spent their time helping keep our community clean. So if you'd like to join that long list of people who are involved, please don't hesitate. Now's the time to step up. The weather is here, and I'd encourage you to take part. It's a way of, of uh, engendering community spirit amongst your group and at the same time serving your community and adding to your coffers. So the Clean Communities Grant this year is larger than it's been in past years. I'd like to see us use it to its fullest extent, and so I encourage you to please take part. Vernon Vibes is brought to you in part by Vira, the Vernon Independent Retailers Association. Please shop locally and support these businesses. Brookside Florists, Copy Center of Vernon, Dollar Plus, h, h Auto Parts, Healthy Times Market, Lakeland Pool and Spas, McAfee Hardware, McAfee Ski and Snowboard, Outcast Sports, Valley Paint and Hardware, Vernon Dairy Queen and Batting Cages. Please remember to shop locally. Vernon Vibes is brought to you in part by United Water, the official water company of Vernon Township. United Water, involved in the communities they serve. There have been, recently, some articles in the paper that relate to the ongoing situation of the disseminated Social Security numbers of our employees. And since our last meeting, uh, we are in receipt of the certifications that were required by the judge's order from the defendants in that suit, specifically Sally Rinker, Lynn Van Gorder, Sandy Ohms, Curious George. And the reason that I'm broaching the subject with you is you may all recall that there was criticism made at the time that Vernon Township took very aggressive action to prevent the dissemination of those Social Security numbers by the people who received them inadvertently or incorrectly. And the local newspaper was extremely critical of the manner in which we handled that situation because they didn't like being named even though they had been recipients of the information. We were able, Vernon Township and the New Jersey Herald, to come to a settlement and to release them from the lawsuit since they agreed to do all the things that we were requesting in our order to show cause, our request for a restraining order. Lots of terms have been used by the people involved, lawsuit and appeal, Vernon Township was seeking a restraining order that was designed to prevent the dissemination, to direct the recipients to destroy what they had received, and to certify that they had not disseminated that information to anyone else. In the newspaper article that appeared on the Friday after this incident occurred, the former mayor was quoted as saying that she did not disseminate the information and the paper then went on in the article to talk about why Vernon Township took such aggressive action. The certification re received by Vernon Township from Sally Rinker and Lynn Van Gorder indicated that in fact they did disseminate that information to other parties. Let me say it again. They did disseminate that information to other parties. In the face of the fact that what they received from our clerk strictly and specifically directed that if they were to have received something they shouldn't have, they were to destroy it and return it immediately. But more importantly, when people 
asked, why did this mayor become so aggressive? Past behavior predicts future behavior. When Mrs. Rinker was the mayor, I'm sure you all will recall that there was a huge scandal in regard to information that she emailed to non-governmental individuals. Business information that she emailed to non-government agencies or people. And so I wanted to be sure that that past behavior was not repeated. Unfortunately, I was too late. In the certification in which the judge directed in the hearing that in fact the people would certify that either they didn't disseminate it or if they did, they were to divulge who they disseminated it to, both Mrs. Van Gorder and Mrs. Rinker have refused to divulge who they disseminated it to. I'll leave that decision up to Judge Gannon. More importantly, if you read the article that was recently in the newspaper, you will see that the legal fees charged Vernon Township by municipal attorney Kevin Kelly amounted to approximately $5,600 for the entire work that he did, and it was lengthy. The bill received for Mrs. Rinker's attorney now tops $21,000. $21,000 for 36 hours of attorney work. That's based upon Mr. Gutman's own bill. $400 an hour is what this attorney is trying to fleece this township for. And Vernon Township is aggressively opposing his application to the court. And we will continue to do so until Judge Gannon rules. It is absolutely ludicrous that this attorney should send that kind of a bill for this amount of work. I'll be back in a minute. Discover the treasure that's in your own backyard at Crystal Springs Resort. It's the perfect way to escape your daily routine with luxury spas, award-winning golf, fabulous dining, mineral sports club, and so much more. Even treat yourself to an overnight stay for that special occasion. Great recreation and world-class amenities. It's all right here in beautiful Sussex County at Crystal Springs Resort. Vernon Vibes is brought to you in part by Vira, the Vernon Independent Retailers Association. Please shop locally and support these businesses. Brookside Florist, Copy Center of Vernon, Dollar Plus, h, h Auto Parts, Healthy Times Market, Lakeland Pool and Spas, McAfee Hardware, McAfee Ski and Snowboard, Outcast Sports, Valley Paint and Hardware, Vernon Dairy Queen and Batting Cages. Please remember to shop locally. Vernon Vibes is brought to you in part by United Water, the official water company of Vernon Township. United Water, involved in the communities they serve. Welcome back. By the time you all view this, the, the primary elections will be over. This is a friendly request of all the candidates who participated in the primary elections and placed their signs along the roadways and throughout Vernon Township. This is a friendly request to remove your signs in a timely fashion. Our ordinance requires that they be removed within seven days of the election. I can tell you that if it goes beyond 10 days, this township will issue summonses. We are happy to have the participation, and, we, and I, along with the rest of the governing body, believe that it's extremely important that people be allowed to electioneer, but it needs to be done within the kind, confines of our ordinances. So please, those of you who have signs up along the roadways, those of you who have engaged in this election, have your, the people who put them up, get out there and get them down. It definitely will be appreciated. And of course, with the primary election over, we then look to the general election. And it should be an interesting one this year. So, I thank you for being with us. I always look forward to the time we spend together. And uh, hopefully it'll be a, a uh, real great summer for everyone. I'll see you on the next go-round. Have a good evening.